so right now my status line here in Vim, it's got the file name in it and it's got the cursor position. So the line and the column number as I move around. It's also got a top or a bottom or a percentage, a progress indicator over on the right. So that's fine. The only thing I don't like about this though is that it blends in with the background of the rest of the document. I'd like it to kind of stand out, not that bold as with the pink there, but I'd like it to stand out with a slightly different color. And so in the process of setting that up, I looked at the theme that I'm using. It's One Dark Pro. I just switched to this recently. And in looking through its documentation, it mentions that it integrates with Lua Line. And so I thought, I don't have Lua Line. I don't really want to add an extension to do this, but let's try it out, just see how it goes. And then I comment out my configuration so I can go through this with you here. So basically, here is the extension that I added, MVim Lua Line. And I haven't enabled it yet. That's why you can still see the old bar down below here. If I come down here, I can uncomment this. So I'll set it up then. And then I can go ahead and save that then. I'm not going to quit out though. I'm going to open up in a new tab here so we can compare before and after. So I'll open up them again. All right, so right away, you can tell that's drastically different here. If I tab between the two windows, the status line, it's colorful. Once I could see what this looks like then, I thought, let's customize this to my liking to see how I feel about it. For example, I don't like showing the mode indicator here. If I go, for example, into insert mode, it says insert here, and it also has it down in the command line. That's redundant. So I want to drop off this particular section. I also don't care to see the branch. I think it's very often that I switch branches. I do at times, but it's not so frequent that I always need to see the branch in my status line. I'd rather just have the space available for something else or nothing. And then the one thing I want to keep here, I want to keep the file name. However, I want the full file path relative to the repository root or my workspace root. So that's a change I'll need to make. And of course, then there's a middle in between here. I'm covering that up. I moved my camera over so I can show you the other side. I might be covering part of this up, but essentially over on the right hand side here, it shows some information like the encoding of the file and the line endings, as well as the file type. For the most part, I just don't care for this. I can see in the file extension here, this is a Lua file, so I don't really need that information to be redundant. I don't need an icon either. And then we've got the progress here. That's fine. We'll keep the, the line and the column. So now I want to make some changes to this to make it my own here. If I jump down here, get rid of a few of the lines here where I was just using the default configuration and go back to my configuration, go ahead and save that. I'll open up in a new tab here so we can compare. So I'll open up MVim here. All right, so here are my customizations. Instead of, if I come back here, instead of just showing the file name over here, I want to show the full path to the file relative to the repository root or the project root. And then I don't want any of that other stuff. So I dropped off these two sections here, the blue section as well as the light gray section. And I'm just keeping the file name here. And then over on the other side here, I don't care for any of this information really. So I dropped all that off except one caveat here on the file type. And then I kept this information, the progress and the line and column count. So you can see that here over on the right, I've got the line and the column count as well as the progress here. If I were to jump down here, you can see those change. And to keep that compact, I found some glyphs here for line and for column number. It's stacked nicely so I can see this is the line number, this is the column number. I'm not a big fan with the default style here of just showing 12 and a colon. I forget, is the line first or the column first? And then I've also added my copilot indicator. That'll tell me whether or not I've got copilot enabled or disabled. So these are my customizations. Now I wanna take a minute and step through these so you can see what this looks like. So inside of the config section for this plugin where I set it up, I've got some helper functions here. These produce the column number and the line number that you can see over in the lower right. They're just helpers then, so I'll jump down below those. I've also got a helper here that decides if I wanna show the file type. My thought is if I've got the file type correctly, in the file extension, then don't show the file type. If I don't have the file type correctly in the extension, then go ahead and show it. So that's what this function does here. All right, so jump down here. Here is my setup now and I pass options. I also clear out the separators. If I jump back here, you can see I've got separators like a little triangle in between each section. I don't like that, it's just wasted space, so I got rid of that. In fact, if you wanna see the reason why I got rid of that here, let me comment out the override of those and save that and then I'll split out a new window here and open this up again. We can compare before and after. So here's before, this is what I set up, here's after. Over on the right, you can notice this is just wasting space. And why do that if I have everything split out nicely here and I can see each section clearly. All right, so I override the section and the component separators. 
sections are A, B, and C. And then the components within a section, like over here, the line number and the column number, those are each of the subcomponents, which is important because if I jump down here, down to the sections, jump that up to the top here. So first up, I've got the Lua line A, which would be the very first component. So all I've done here, I just cleared that out. I'm not using it. And then for Lua line B, that's where my file name is at. I'm using the Lua line component here for file name, which allows me to pass additional arguments, for example, the type of path to show. So instead of just, let me show you here, instead of just colors.lua, I'm showing the entire path here. All right now, down in section C, that's where I'm showing the file type only if it's not the same as a file extension. And let me show you what that might look like here. I do set file type. Right now you can see it's Lua. If however, I set this to XML maybe, you can see now in the status bar, I actually show XML as a file type. And of course, if I put that back here, watch that'll disappear. There you go. Now you can see that's gone because I don't need to show the same information twice. And then the right-hand side here has X, Y, and Z. So the next section here is X. That's where I show my copilot status. And then come down to section Y. That's where I have my line number and my column number, as well as the progress. And so of course, for section Z, the last one here, you can see I've just cleared that out. Now, if you wanna see how this works here to have subcomponents within the section Y, if I jump up here, here's the status line function. So that is the function if I jump to it. That's defined up above there. So that produces this string right here. And of course, then I get the column. I show the same thing in the progress. And then I took out some of the padding because by default, there's padding on the left and the right of each component. And so I was getting two spaces between each component and I don't like that, that's a waste of space. So I cut that down to zero on the left. And then actually there's one more aspect I probably should just touch on. And that's what happens when a window is inactive. So for example, if I were to split the screen here, I've got two windows now. The one on the right is inactive. And so you can see, actually probably can't see it because I'm probably blocking it. You can see on the right window here, it's got a different style here. This is the style for inactive. So inactive sessions, this is a configuration for when it's inactive. If I were to switch over to the other window, you can see it flips. So I'll close that here. And so yeah, here's the definition. And again, I'm just using the built-in components for that. That seems to work well enough, though you could always customize those as well. All right, so that's it for Lua line. I think that's a good introduction. I think the one thing I might suggest is that only show the things that you actually need to see all the time. And then I further say, when it comes to things like branch names and modes, do you really need to see that? A lot of people like to add that. I just don't really see the utility of that. How often do you actually need to see the branch that you're working on? Now, if you're changing branches all the time, that makes sense. But for most people, I think you're working with a single branch in most projects. And so it should be perfectly sufficient not to show that. Or maybe one thing I might suggest is if you want to see the branch, if it's not your default branch, then show it under that condition. Otherwise, don't show it. That'll save the space for most of the time then when you're working on the default branch.